Okay, Mr. F. Lockett. The defense rests. Mr. Buzz 1151, does the plaintiff wish to call any witnesses? Yes, Your Honor. I call Dickle F. Lockett. What? I object. Objection overruled. Please take the stand, Mr. F. Lockett. Raise your right hand. You solemnly swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help you God? Uh, uh, Judge, do I have to answer that? Yes, Mr. F. Lockett. Well, okay. I swear, I guess. Mr. Buzz, 1151, you may proceed. Please state your age and where you were born. I'm 82 years old. I was born on a mountaintop in Tennessee. <laughs> Green estate in the land of the free. <laughs> what do you do for a living, Mr. F. Lockett? Well, lots of stuff. I ran for president last year, and I'm a stand-up comic occasionally. Stuff like that. I guess you could call me a gnome of all trades. Do you know what the word collude means? It means to crash into something, I think. No, no, no. That's collide. I'm talking about the word collude, as in a conspire. Now, is it possible? Is it just possible that you, Dickle F. Lockett, colluded or conspired with one John from Arkansas to cheat in the 2017 Potato King contest? Your Honor, do I have to answer that question? Mr. F. Lockett? Please answer the question. Could you please repeat the question? Is it possible that you, Dickle F. Lockett, colluded with John from Arkansas? Well, uh, it all depends on what the meaning of is is. <laughs> <laughs> Order in the court. Order in the court. Okay, Judge. Order me a ham on rye with two beers, please. <laughs> Order in this court. Order in this court. Welcome, everybody, to part two and the final episode of this 1985 Quasar TV. Now, you're probably groaning and saying, Ah, where's the uh, 1948 Helicrafter? Ah, fiddle-faddle. Well... I've been waiting for parts on that, and it's just been too hot to do any work. Poor baby. One day it was 107 degrees here in Portland, and for Portland, Oregon, that is like uh, hell. Hell yeah. So I decided to uh, get the Quasar TV done because I got the, the parts in from China, and I just want to wrap that up and uh, get on with the other stuff. I also have to do the Emerson, so it's going to be a few weeks before I can get to the uh, part two of the Helicrafters. So let's take a look at these switches here. I ordered five from eBay, and they only cost me like uh, four fifty for five of them. Good show. And this particular switch, I could not find anywhere. Any type of these switches in the United States, for some reason, every time I found a number that worked, it said it was obsolete. But, oh boy, China had plenty of them. Let's open it up. There they are. Hopefully that works okay, and it's the same. We're going to... Uh, Take the old one out and compare the side by side and see if there's any difference between the two. So let's get that done, huh? Well, here's the original one. As you can see there, it's pretty much the same. Well, not exactly. This original one is soldered here on this board. So I'm gonna have to take the board out and stick it on here. The only difference here is the two holes here these got a these are tapped here and this one here they're not so I'm gonna probably have to use some uh, screws and uh, and a nut on here anyway let me uh, unsolder this and we'll put it on the new one 
All right, I got the uh, the board off it. But I've been thinking here. If I use this one, I'm going to have to use nuts here. And if I use nuts, nuts might come loose and fall into the uh, TV and short something out. So I was thinking maybe I could remove this metal part here and uh, transfer this onto the new one so that I'll have the, uh, the tapped hole here. Boy, you are nuts. NVTS nuts. Don't give up your day job. I'm smarter than the average bear. I broke it there. Whoa. <laughs> Missed it by that much. Man, what a cheap switch. That's all there was to this. See, it's burnt there. Let me see if I can take uh, this metal part off and transfer it over here. Ladies and gentlemen, this is WXA broadcasting the news events of the day. On a sadder note, Pizza the Hut, famed half man, half pizza, was found dead earlier today. Evidently, the notorious gangster became locked in his car and ate himself to death. I think that'll work. I'll just have to get another pliers and uh, press that in more, but uh, now I can have the threaded uh, holes here and won't have to worry about nuts. Sometimes you feel like a nut, sometimes you don't. Okay, I'm gonna solder this onto the board here. I marked which one was the front. So. I think it goes like that. Don't think. Feel. Let that uh, get hard. And I can do the other side. All right. All right, it goes right in here. Look, I don't know why you're here, but I really think you're over your head. Turn on the lights! Okay, okay, that's better. All right. I'm going to have to uh, clean up this mess here. All these knobs here need to be cleaned. As does the whole case. It needs to be polished. A man's strength can be measured by his appetites. There's some things that man is not meant to displace. Well, it's another hot one today. You can hear the air conditioner in the background. But I've got the uh, knobs cleaned off. All the filth. Switch works okay. So I'm going to use Novus number two on the uh, cabinet here and uh, try to shine it up as best I can. And that should do it for this repair here. Kind of short and sweet, but who feels like working? Okay, I thought I'd do a little segment here. I guess we could call it the, uh, the underbelly of YouTube. <laughs> Most of us know about uh, YouTube thieves, the people who take your video and then and they have their own website. And I'm going to be showing you a little bit of that. But here's my YouTube page. You can see this is one of my uh, videos here. It's the Helicrafters video. And 
It, uh, it's got Dickel's trial. But you notice on all my videos, I put this uh, brand on here. It says Buzz 1151 down there. That's supposed to uh, keep people from copying your videos and displaying it on their own websites without your permission or just trying to make money off it. That's why that's supposed to be there. YouTube uh, put that on there and says you, you should do that to protect your, your product. Let me give you an example here. I'm just going to go to, uh, let me get out of here. Get out of here. Okay, I'm just going to type in uh, Buzz1151. Who? We'll see what comes up here on a Google search. Okay, we got uh, the YouTube site comes up. Here's one of my YouTube uh, videos. Here's uh, Antique Radio Forum I mentioned in here. So we'll go to the next uh, page. Let's click on here and see what happens. It says download all of Buzz's latest videos. What's that about? I will. This site is called CodedFilm.com. Here's my Helicrafters video from a couple days ago. This is not YouTube. Here's my Helicrafters video. That it says it's from YouTube. Have you anything more to add? To it's, it's, it's got my uh, brand there. But if you go down further, guess what else it shows? You got some hardcore porn on here. What kind of a place is this? Let's just type John from Arkansas's name in here. See what we get. Uh oh. All right, here's uh, John's videos. All right, here's his mismatch. 123. I have received a package. <laughs> they come flying out of the... Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, you nasty man. John. Let's just continue the search here. What's this, Lagu Buzz 1151? It says you can download my videos here. Let's look at here. Look at this. This looks like uh, from Asian, some Asian place. Let's just click on one of my videos here. Cheap Chinese garbage. There's my Tater Wars video. Where's my logo on there? Where's my brand on there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's supposed to be Buzz 1151 right here. Look at that. It's not there. How can they go to YouTube and uh, download something and not come up with the brand? Rat. Here's one of Shango's uh, videos. This is a definite uh, YouTube thief stealing my uh, my videos without the logo. Now I know this stuff goes on, you know, I'm not naive, but uh, it doesn't mean I have to like it. Also, I noticed here, I'm searching Buzz 1151, but if I come down here, it says My Uncle Dorkle Episode 3. Let's go there. And it's got all these Uncle Dorko episodes from Old 64 Goat. And the name of the uh, website is called streamhorror.online. <laughs> Let's see what happens if we click on one. This is connected to YouTube. Welcome to But I think it's just funny that uh, it's on a horror website. 
<laughs> I'm going to give the people what they want. Sensation, horror, shock. Uncle Dorkle sings again. So, I guess you could call this the underbelly of YouTube. I guess you could call it a lot of other stuff. What? I don't know, but in case you didn't know what happens to your uh, videos, anybody can get them, anybody could link them with anything, and uh, they're out there forever. You darn tootin'. Oh, brother! Oh, man. It's always something. Wouldn't you know it? I was trying to blow some of the dust over here. And when I did that, this, this thing fell through here. <laughs> the only way to get that out is to take the whole thing apart and pull the CRT. Or... I could try to pry this front part out here. What do you think? Okay, let's do it. There's no way I'm going to take this apart again. <laughs> I'm going to see if I can pry this out. I feel ready to go another nine inning. If I wreck it, then I wreck it. Remember the old adage? A task slowly done is surely done. I'm sorry to have to say, I can't wait any longer now. The time limit is up. <laughs> there it is. Looks like it's just held in there by uh, rubber cement. good now I can clean all this up clean both sides try to get some of the scratches out and then glue it back in there I dodged the bullet on that one don't forget to brush your teeth Take a little of this. Get crazy glue today. All right, let me see if I can get that back. All right, I'm gonna put some weight on that. Let it dry. Well, there's the final uh, repaired TV. All shined up. Looking pretty damn good. No, no, now turn it around. Not bad. Let me hook up the uh, box. Let's just test the switch here. It's up here. Here it goes. If I fixed it right, it should come on. Let's see what happens. Me TV is comfortable. Cool. I'm Barry Williams. Recently, I enlisted to become a deputy. So that should uh, do it for this uh, second episode of this Quasar TV. Repair, it's fixed, working fine. So we can put uh, this one on ice and go on to the next project.
Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Whenever that is. So don't you start me, you mangy, miserable sodbuster. I'm sick of you.